Hey, what's up guys? Chris Altamirano here from the VM Maverick Internet Business Blog. And today I want to show you guys how you can make your very own ebook cover. Um, it's really easy to do. It's, there's not a lot of work required. Uh, just some basic Photoshop knowledge and you guys should be on, on track. Uh, if you don't have basic Photoshop knowledge, don't worry. It's, everything's very easy and I'll go through it as, uh, as, as slow and as understandable as possible. Alright, let's get started. First thing you want to do is just go ahead and open Photoshop. And um, what we're going to do is just go ahead and click File, New. And then we're just going to title this one, this new uh, image, My Ebook Cover. Uh, you don't have to title it that, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, make sure the width is 400 pixels by 600 pixels in height, and then click OK. Drag this to the center. Next thing you want to do is head, over, head on over to the right side to your, uh, your layer palette and double click background and then just push OK. What that's going to do is going to unlock the background so that we can uh, make this image transparent. Um, again, I am using a Mac. If you're on a PC, I don't know the, the controls, so uh, sorry about that. And the next thing we want to do is just, uh, we want to delete the background, so I would go select and then all and see these little, uh, little dotted lines pop up and then just push delete. Now you can see, and then now you can see that the background is actually transparent. So I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to go Command D to uh, deselect, and then I'm just going to go ahead on the left side and click the little arrow right here, so we can start from scratch again. So now that we have that set up, the next thing we want to do is uh, set up our our second uh, our second new image. This is going to be for the side of our ebook. So go File New, and this one we can name it e um, ebook. Um, side and then we want this one to be 80 pixels in width and 600 pixels in height and then push OK and now we're just going to repeat the same thing go ahead and uh, double click the background and then push OK go to select all and then push delete and then again on a Mac command D to deselect um, if you're on a PC and you don't have a, a Mac, I believe that's layer and then you or select and then you can just push deselect when it has those little um, you know little crawling ant things. So now that we have both of these images set up, now we're just gonna want to drag our cover on them. And so what you want to do for that is head on over to your uh, your internet browser. Um, I have I have Firefox open. Um, and then go go ahead and head on over to Flickr and um, search for a background. I just uh, searched through the uh, Creative Commons 2.0. Uh, this means that whatever image you select, you, have, you just have to give credit back to the author or the, the photographer and just provide them with a link. So in your ebook, you could just put at the very end, it doesn't matter where it is in your ebook, just at the very end, put like image credit to and then uh, g g give a link back to the, the author of Flickr. Um, so I'm, I just searched for simple background and then I found this image right here. It's pretty cool. It's called Carbon Fiber. And I'm just going to grab this, drag it to my desktop. And there it is right there. And then now I'm just going to minimize Firefox for you. Now I'm just going to drag this right over to my cover in Photoshop. Now you can see it just drops it right there nice and, nice and good. And I'm just going to use the arrows on your, uh, your keyboard and just go up and then just push enter and you can see that it just makes it nice and flush over that and then now we're gonna go back to the the, the second image we created and that's ebook side and we'll do the same thing we'll go ahead and grab our image and just drop it right on top of that Now this one didn't resize so all you do is you can see it's already in free transform mode so I would just hold shift on a Mac and then just click it and drag it up this is to uh, constrain the proportions and then get the second side do the same thing right here and voila and then just push enter and so now we have the side of the ebook and we have the front side now maybe you want to throw in a little uh, design you know you don't want it to be so simple um, I would go ahead and hang head over to the left side right here to the rectangle tool go ahead and just switch your colors I'm just gonna keep it simple make it white Push enter, and we're just gonna let's make it in the uh, in the middle right here. And what this is gonna do is gonna create this nice white box for us. And this is maybe where we can put our I don't know 
author name or something. And I'll just hold shift because the layer is still selected. You can see it right here. It says shape on the right hand side. I'm just going to hold shift and I'm just going to bump this down. Actually, hold on. Go back to your little pointer tool right here. And then uh, go ahead and go down, hold shift, and then just use your arrow to move it down. Or you can just drag it, you know, either or whatever you want. See, I'm going to make a little, leave a little space right there so it looks cool. Okay, and then just push enter. Now, we just need to match that up. And then just let's uh, duplicate the layer and then just push OK. And then grab it right here now on the, the actual front cover and drag this up to the next tab and we'll drop it about right there. And you can hold Command T to free transform it and just drag these in until it lines up with the pink. Okay, and then just push Enter. And now we just have to kind of align it and uh, make sure it's about the same. I would estimate that's about, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 pixels. You can drag that down. What do you, what do you guys think? Looks good? All right. So now that we have this set up, we can go ahead and just add our name um, of our ebook. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's make this like a, a red, something that's going to pop. We'll just go ahead back to our text, little text tool, and just go ahead and click, and you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to say my ebook cover, exclamation mark, push the T to get, or the little cursor to get off of it, and we'll just put it right there. If you guys want to add some blending options, you can. Just double click right here on the right side of the palette, and you can just go to, let's see, let's just do like a a bevel and emboss. You see it makes it look all clay. I'm just going to soften this up so it looks a little better. Just some simple editing. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do a bunch of editing stuff. This is you know, a simple little tutorial to actually create the cover. Um, so we'll just leave it like that for now. Um, the next thing we want to do is actually let's, um, let's right click this on, the, on our layers palette and then let's also duplicate that layer and then let's drag this my ebook cover to the next uh, tab for our ebook side. And we'll just drop that over. And then we want to go Command T so we can free transform it. And then go on the far right side or the top right, just one of the corners, and then just turn it. Select it and then turn it to the side. And this is going to make our little side cover. And then just do it till it's aligned. And let's see. And you can just drop it right there. Push Enter. And then let's just move it over with our, our arrows. So now you see we have the side cover and we have our front cover. So now we just want to save these as a PNG. So I'm going to save this first one, my ebook cover, go file, and then go save for web and devices. Uh, make sure it's a PNG 24, and then just go save. And my ebook cover.png, save it to our desktop. And there we go. Now let's go back to the ebook side. File, save for web and devices, PNG24, and let's go save. Ebook side, desktop. Just gonna close up Photoshop. Don't save those. Okay, so now the next thing we wanna do is just head on over back to Firefox, and you're gonna wanna head to the website called www.3d-pack.com. I'll leave a link in the uh, tutorial area. Or the description um, and then all you want to do is just go down right here on the right side and it says choose a cover and go browse select your ebook cover the front one enter and then go choose a backside we don't need a backside um, I really don't see anybody that ever uses a backside of an ebook cover unless maybe you're putting it on Amazon um, unless, if you're not then you know don't worry about it but if you are going to use a back cover then just pretty much repeat the same process for uh, using the front cover, just create a back cover for it. Uh, so choose a side, go browse, and then ebook side.png, and then just put create 3D box. So now, what this is going to do is going to make our ebook cover for us, and it's going to make it look really cool. It's going to be 3D ish. And uh, there it is. And you can kind of move it how you please. Notice how we turn it, it's green in the back. That's because we didn't design a uh, a backside for it. So you can see right here, you can throw it off edge a little bit, make it look kind of weird and cool. 
And then all you do is you just select what format you wanted, a PNG, a JPEG, or a GIF. Uh, let's just choose a PNG. And we'll move it right there. And now we can just drag it and bring it to our desktop. And there it is, guys. There is our ebook cover. It's really simple to do. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Again, my name is Chris from the Via Maverick Internet Business Blog. You can find me at www.viamaverick.com. All right, thanks for watching, guys.